Welcome everybody back. Today we are talking about Overwatch. Yes! Raise your hand if you have never played Overwatch. If you rose your hand, it deserves to be cut off. Simply because Overwatch is one of the most underrated games before its release and then after its release it took so many people by storm that they were like, holy crap Blizzard, what the hell is this? Why? What, what is this? It's so great and it's a, it's a new concept for first person shooters and it's extremely popular. And because it's so popular, there are so many people out there that are like, where's Overwatch 2? Do we hear anything about Overwatch 2 coming out? And today what I want to do is I actually want to break it down and see what are the benefits of them making an Overwatch 2 and what are the benefits of them sticking with Overwatch 1 and just continually updating that game? Kind of making it like a League of Legends type game where it's something that they're just going to keep alive, you know? So let's look at both sides here. First off, you need to understand this all comes down to money and Blizzard is thinking to themselves right now, we dove into something here that we weren't expecting. It's an extremely popular game. Should we make another $60 game, Overwatch 2, so to say, and have that sell and then kind of diminish off the fan base of Overwatch 1 if Overwatch 2 is good enough and go through the process of marketing and trying to sell another $60 game when this one right now is so popular. And on the other side is they're thinking, so if we put our money and our time and our effort into continually updating Overwatch 1 with new characters, new weapons, um, new maps, uh, different game modes, kind of making the game an infinitely updated game throughout the years until the fan base dies off, is that a better option than making an Overwatch 2? Because the biggest ones that you can think of is like League of Legends or Call of Duty, where Call of Duty makes a new one every single year, kind of just destroying the fan base of the older game because people like the new updated ones because that's kind of the Call of Duty community, whereas people that kind of like the original style, like League of Legends stuff, they will continually play a game that was released a long time ago and just keep waiting for updates. So here are my thoughts on this. I believe that it would be a much better move right now for Overwatch to continually update their current game with different people, different weapons, different maps, different game modes, along with uh, maybe some in-game purchases, not just kind of loot box purchases, but say there's a skin for Roadhog or something. There's a skin for Roadhog that you can get that is a rare a rare item and it's going to cost you say ten dollars and you can't get it in a loot box or there's like a rare type of game mode that you can buy or updates that you can buy that will continually bring money into blizzard and have them be able to put more effort into continually updating the game itself i think that that is a better idea for them simply because the game has done so well for them so far that it would be an idiotic move for them to create something number two right now nope don't 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 have the dirty mind there but <laughs> the second overwatch right now would put more stress and cause more effort to be done than continually updating a game right now that people love and people are putting hours into and that people are putting hundreds of dollars into at the moment that makes that a much better option for them so to all of the people out there that are talking about overwatch 2 and talking about not hearing anything for a new game right now you need to understand that everything comes down to money so i think that the updates that they are doing right now for overwatch 1 is efficient enough to keep me playing the game i am not bored of the game yet there's a lot of new things that are coming up for overwatch um, let's think about like games like Call of Duty. Again, I stopped playing Black Ops daily probably three months ago because they started announcing the new Call of Duty. There's the new Infinite Warfare that's coming out. So I've been doing a little bit more research in that. I've been playing a lot more Infinity Ward style games because it's something that I, I, like, I like to keep up on. So I've stopped playing it. And I think that Overwatch needs to have that mindset of we're going to continually update and give people what they want with Overwatch 1 until the fan base wears out. In which case, if it does wear out, they might have the uh, money backing to create a second game. And that is the only way that I think that they're going to create a second game is if Overwatch 1 completely goes blank. And, and that wouldn't be for years, I guarantee it. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think Overwatch 2 would be a better idea? Do you think con constantly updating Overwatch 1 would be a better idea? Let me know in the comments down below. 
link right here to my other channel if you guys want to learn about some human experiments that have been going on over the past like century that's my other channel it's a little bit of a darker style channel so go over there if you want to watch that i hope that you all have an awesome day leave a like leave a subscription it really does help me out guys i will see you all later